we'll move on to the topic for today. So I have brought a use case with me, which deals around natural language processing, right? The topic is sentiment analysis, and we'll go a little beyond sentiment analysis. We'll also talk about topic modeling, right? These terms might be new to you, right? You might be hearing them for the first time, but when I show you some use cases, you'll be able to relate this uh, part of this in your day-to-day -day life. Right, and make sure that you can do some relation. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me just start with the agenda. I'll brief you on what is sentiment analysis, what is topic modeling. There was a use case, a real life use case that we did for one of our clients. What was the business problem? What were the challenges in the problem? How did we approach it? Some of the machine learning models, okay. And this is the area where data science comes into play, right? All these machine learning models, all these words might be new to you, but uh, please bear with me. These, this might go a little technical, but that is fine. Even if you don't understand, just uh, get familiarized. I'll make it very simple for you in this when it comes. And then finally, I'll show you some demo or the, some uh, outputs on how we can visualize how after the data was analyzed, how the entire visualization looked like. So I have brought that uh, a small demo to you so that you can actually feel what we are talking in the entire presentation. That will go towards the end, right? If you have any questions, like Vashini said, please drop in in your chat. I will ensure that I'm answering them towards the end of it, right? Until then, please bear with my presentation. Right. So data science, as uh, we all know, that it is an upcoming or a booming world going on right now, right? So that is nothing but all the data that has been generated each and every second or microsecond through multiple sources like social media, on your smart watches, on the IoT devices, on all the platforms that we are generating data. Right. The business or the industry is looking at mining this data. What do I mean by that? That the best can be achieved out of all the data which is just being accumulated. Right. Even if you're talking on Facebook, Instagram, this, that, all the platforms that you're talking in, the businesses, on the other hand, want to understand you. And why they want to understand you is just to make their services even better and better with every passing day. Right, the intention most of the time is pure. They do not want to get into data privacy, but they want to understand you so as to serve you better, right? And that is where the entire subject around data science, you know, it's called science because there's a lot of scientific techniques involved in it. Statistics, mathematics, all of that is involved in the process of mining the data which is going around. So that's where the whole term of science is involved, right? So it is not just K intuitively you make some decisions. No, it is a very systematic process of analyzing or looking deeply into the data that you're generating every, every minute, right? So that's the whole process about data science. The good intention is of course to serve you better, but of course the other half is also available. Like there are many things which can be done with the data. Right. So one such use case in data, right, I have brought today, and this is called a sentiment analysis. What is sentiment analysis? Let's go deeper into it, right? So sentiments, like we all know, right, what is sentiment? It is, it is a very relatable topic. Sentiments are nothing but those are your emotions or your expressions. Okay, whatever your feeling is about a particular thing or a particular particular um, piece of information, right? You might feel something for a book, you might feel something for a movie, you might feel something for a phone that you brought, right? You might like it, you might dislike it, or you might not have any comments on it, right? So broadly, your sentiments or your feelings are divided into these three categories. Either they are positive, either they are negative, or they are neutral, right? It's as simple as that. When you're talking something good about something, it's positive. When you're talking something bad about this, because you ex you didn't experience it um, in the way you were expecting it to be, 
there is a time negative sentiments float around that product and then when it is okay you know when you really don't know whether it is uh, expect meeting your expectation or not meeting it usually turns into the neutral category right so this is where the entire sentiment analysis classification is based on positive negative and neutral right now all on or where is it that you give your feedbacks or your expressions or your sentiments what is the platform or where is a platform that you give there are many available right suppose you're downloading an app from an app store usually they ask you they keep asking you periodically that please give us a rating or a feedback right it's that simple as pressing one of the five stars that appear to you right and you just press the star and your feedback is given right there is not uh, i mean if you want to write you can write but it is as simple as just pressing five stars one of the five stars and your feedback is given so that's how the other side of it who's collecting the data know that whether they have they've been able to serve you in the way that you wanted or is it going really drastically bad that is one medium of collecting your feedback the other is on uh, e-commerce platforms like amazon flipkart uh, all those uh, other platforms on the e-commerce side where you buy product and you write about it right even there you have stars and uh, ratings you know one star two star all that you have but then you go beyond and you start writing about something so those textual piece of information that you give on either your social media or your e-commerce on various platforms even on the nowadays even on in some stores when you check out on the counter there is a small tablet kind of a thing where you just give your feedback right i think shoppers talk is where i at least give a plus or a positive one of the three symbols positive negative and neutral so they they had these three faces drawn and i just had to click on one of them whether i liked their overall service or no right so that's where the shop flows have also started collecting feedbacks of people right so there are various media in which people uh, collect the traditional ones before the social media came in were usually the forms that were circulated or some forums where people were given some uh, maybe when they came together to for discussing some activity like doctors usually come together uh every week or one twice in a month they come together discuss new drugs and all of that and during that process they discuss whether something is working something is not working what with this that so there were different uh, forums before the uh, invent of the social media that's how they were collecting feedback that's how the healthcare company the pharmaceutical companies were collecting feedback about their newly launched drugs or any product that they've launched in okay right? so this has now evolved of course the traditional systems are also there but now it has evolved to a wider community right to with the advent of the social media so that's about sentiment analysis and sentiment classification and moving beyond right so this topic our topic for today is going a little beyond sentiment analysis and talking about topic modeling the another uh, term for this is aspect analysis right topic modeling is also known as aspect analysis um which means that if you're liking something right if you're liking something in a product the businesses want to know what are your areas of liking right what are the categories or the sub categories or the areas that you have really liked okay so if you have liked a service in a restaurant what exactly have you liked have you liked the ambience have you liked the food and if it is a ambience or a food what is it that you like in the food what is it that you like do you like the vegetarian dishes the non vegetarian dishes the drinks the what is it that you like so going beyond uh, the step of only positive negative neutral you are saying that i have liked something because of the following things which were good and vis-a-vis negatively if you don't like something what is it that you didn't like in the product right so that's where uh, because when you're writing a feedback you know you usually say that the ambience was good but the price was expensive okay but the dish was too costly or something like that you write when you write such sentiments 
or feedbacks in your uh, you know when you're checking out of an hotel or when you're giving a feedback when you when you're served food something like that you tend to write and that is what the restaurant owners or the hotel management companies are looking into they are looking into what worked for them and what didn't work for them and if something didn't work for them that is the area of improvement they really are interested in right so that's where uh, topic modeling helps okay it's also called as aspect analysis you are going beyond the step of just classifying a view into positive negative and neutral and telling your businesses what has worked and what has not worked right moving beyond what is the importance of sentiment analysis right as we already discussed like you must have heard this right customer is the king the all the focus for your business is the customer right customer in either even if you are in a b2b you are having customers right your other side is the always your customer so your focus is always customer customer should be happy with what i am what i am servicing to them my product my service my uh, team you know the customer should be liking this only then they will engage with us more and more right so if your businesses and all businesses are most of the times customer centric right they are never self centric that that businesses will never grow so when customer is the king if that is a motto of your company then it is very much relevant to understand your customer beyond all improving the understanding of your customer with each passing day right the deeper you understand your customer the better your services will be so when you're taking a feedback from a product suppose if any company is just selling for example a tissue or somebody selling tissue on amazon right and based on the reviews that has been given if the number of views are more the likes are more but the feedback is negative right people are buying it because you're giving too many discounts offers it's very cheap com- compared to the competitors but the the quality of service is not good right the quality of your tissue is not good it the moment you uh, remove it it tears you know the moment you're trying to use it before that it tears if that is a kind of feedback you're getting from the customer you know where to improve right if you want and on the social media everybody is hearing what somebody is talking right so you always want good to be spoken about your brand your product and that's why you always want your services to improve and that's why understanding what the customer is talking is very important right and then customer experience we just spoke about this when the customer feels good about your product okay if your tissue is really soft if it is uh, doing what it's supposed to do in a better way you know more than the one which is expected from the delivery uh, if it is doing that your product will get a wow experience right and that is what you want so that you want customers to return back to you time and again right and that's where the experience of your product your service matters then god forbid or for some reason if your product has not worked okay you were supposed you were expecting it to uh, work in a particular way but it has not worked it has failed drastically then how does the feedback help okay how does the feedback help negative feedbacks are equally important like the positive feedbacks right why so because that will serve as a feedback to your r&d team to your product team to improve the quality of the product right to make your product more better that's where the negative comments will also help unless you know what is not worked out you will not know how to improve it so that is a continuous feedback the negative comments are a continuous feedback going to your product and your r&d team right to improvise it and then of course the positive something has worked out positively who are the ones to benefit your sales team okay your marketing team how are they is they benefiting because then they know that this is worked out my uh, tissues have worked out best i know how to upscale and upsell it and cross sell it i will combine it with some other product or i will sell it in combination with other product or i will give uh, buy one get one offers or something like that your campaigns your your techniques of selling it 
all that your promotions, your discounts, all that will revolve around the positive feedbacks that you receive for your product. Right. So both are important. And as a business, you you should be open to both feedback coming from your customers. So that's about importance. And which are the businesses that benefit through sentiment analysis? There are many, you know, I mean, these are only just few of them which I have listed here, but there are innumerable. All of the businesses that you speak about nowadays want to know about what the customer is talking. For example, some of them are listed here are customer support, okay, your mobile support or any mobile, your the Airtel, the Vodafone and all those companies that you are looking at, the customer support behind it. Even the laptops that you're buying, the computers, the phones that you're buying, the customer support of it. They are also looking at how the support is behaving, you know, whether that's why they say that your call is being monitored for quality purposes, right? What is the quality? Whether something has worked out or something has not worked out. So behind the scene, this is always going on. In the earlier days, it was manually. People were actually listening to the videos and uh, not the videos, the audios and the phone recordings, all of that to improvise their team's performance. Now, because data is generated, things can be done automatically. Right? Then that, that is the power of data science. Things can be done data by, just by running a few programs, feeding in your data, and the outputs are produced. A large number of customer support data and in few minutes your reports are ready on what has worked and what is not worked. Similarly, e-commerce, like I mentioned, all the e-commerce platforms, the reviews, they are most valuable reviews on all the e-commerce platforms. Right? Even with us, when we go and buy something, at least I am the one who's first reading the reviews and then reading maybe the product description. First, I am the one who checking if I'm buying the simplest of things, you know, even on Amazon Pantry, I want to check out whether which brand is working um, best, you know, which brand is selling best, what is the kind of response got from the market, what are the kind of people responding, you know. So that is what I look into now before even buying anything on e-commerce. News, digital media, cab services, right, Uber and uh, Ola and all, all those services, we are the ones who uh, uh, give feedback to the not just the cab driver, we also say that, okay, your service has been good, uh, you know, because of multiple reasons, and it was good, the driver was this, the booking uh, was very smooth, the cab arrived quickly, the rates were nominal, and all of that, we tend to write all this so that it benefits, um, you know, uh, the entire operation. And then politics, of course, you give feedback about the many political campaigns which go around, right? And many more. Healthcare. Healthcare is one area that we are working with currently. And they, they are looking into mining a lot of data which is available freely on all the platforms. 